Let's understand the SUMIF function in Excel. Say we want to find the total sales for each type of car. We have a bunch of cars here, Hondas, BMWs, and I wish I had one of these Mercedes. And we sold five Hondas here, and we also sold two Hondas here. How can we quickly find the total number of Honda sales? Well, this one here is pretty trivial, but imagine your list was very long. In this case, to solve this problem of finding total sales for each type of car, we use equals sum if bracket. So the range, these are the things that we're looking for. And in this entire list, we're looking for comma, the criteria. Double quotes, Honda. So we're looking for the text Honda, comma. What we actually want to add up, we want to sum the number of items sold. So I'm going to highlight this range here, which corresponds to this list over here. And then I'm going to close off the bracket and press Enter. So you can see here that uh, we actually total the number of Honda sales. Here's the Honda, which is 5. Honda, which is 2, which is 7. And we have another Honda here, which is 8. 7 plus 8 is indeed 15. And what I like about functions is that as you change the values, if I change this to a 10, for example, from 5 to 10, and I press Enter, your sum if formula will automatically update. So let's try that one more time. Say we want to find the total number of BMW sales. That's BMW 3 here and BMW 7 here. We know the answer should be 10, so let's give it a try. I'm going to type in total. BMW sales. Let me just make this text a little bit smaller so that we can see what we're doing here. And I'll put the I'll put the sum if answer over here in this cell. Equals sum if bracket. Here's my cars, comma, the actual criteria, and that's going to be BMW within double quotes, comma. And here's the actual numbers I want to sum or add up. Here's my close bracket. And I shall press Enter. And you can see, indeed, we have the correct answer. Excellent.